instead of a kind of a pathology mindset, right? Where this is like, oh, we've got to get rid of these symptoms, right? Almost a listening mindset, right? That there's something right about your body and what it is, right? That, that there's some message that maybe those parts are trying to give. And if we just go slow, listen to them as we go, not try and erase them or uh, avoid them or stamp them out, but just treat them with uh, due kindness, care, and, and you know, that, 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 that I can actually shift things. Anything that helps you, uh, the client, uh, the person, uh, whoever you are, um, feel a little bit safer in the world, a little bit more nurtured, a little bit more protected, right? So this could be in psychotherapy, a therapist. You know, it could be a Feldenkrais Christ practitioner, if, 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 if you feel safe with them. But somebody who is able to uh, who, who, who's able to be with you and help you hold what you yourself cannot hold. And the idea here is that, okay, maybe this is your window of tolerance of what you can hold by yourself alone, but maybe with the support of somebody else who's spotting you, who's there with you, who's able to say, hey, I see you, I got you, it's going to be okay, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm right here right? We can, we can go slow, we can take this movement uh, as, you know, in your own time or in your own space, we can uh, listen to the experience that actually happens. So it goes slowly. So it's not too much, too fast, too soon, right? So it, it, it moves into a state of, we can take it easily, you know, with comfort, right? Right. So just slowing it down and you can raise, uh, you can offer a um, secondary function of co-regulation where you help the person uh, raise their window of tolerance, at least temporarily, so that they can uh, get back on their surfboard so the wave doesn't feel like it's too much, right? And when you're in those circumstances of safety uh, and you're in the fragmented state, if you just keep reaching back and saying, oh, but there's somebody here. There's somebody here that's with me and I can do this. I can feel this now. What the things that I couldn't feel that were too much before, I can actually now feel. And I can bring these parts back together. Like the body that went numb down here might actually start to shiver and shake and become unnumb. Uh, the feelings that were separated from images, uh, those might start to link up again. Like I, I cry and I don't understand why, but all of a sudden I see, uh, you know, see my friend's uh, face, right? Oh, that those fragments start to connect up again. The keys start to become strung together. Like I, I can actually play music again rather than just the frozen keyboard, right? So those uh, are important ways in which like with enough resourcing with enough support that um yeah uh you a person can do what we call uh move from a fragmented state back into embodiment right back into reconnection with the body uh, and integrate again and slowly allow those fragmented parts to come back down uh, the arousal cycle into back into the wind of tolerance where you, you want them to land.